Welcome guys to my channel. Um, I'm just going to go through a few things about the carriers on World of Warships and uh, I'm just going to go through some tips and tricks of how to play um, and how to get a better score at the end. I just uh, noticed a few things that a lot of people were doing uh, that they do wrong with their carriers when I've watched other videos or even uh, when I've been in game. Uh, so we're just going to uh, see if I can help you guys out to be better players. I'm not saying I'm the best one but just to help you guys out. So I'm just going to have a look at my ship here. I'm on the American class and I'm on the Bogue. So I'll just go to my modules and you can see that I have updated the hull. Um, I have got the mod 2, not the 3, mainly because I wasn't too worried about having the squadrons, fighter squadrons. I just wanted to get as many points as I could and I felt that this was the best way. So I went for uh, the one squadron of torpedo bombers, which was uh, as standard. And I have the w two bombers. What I'm trying to afford next is obviously this one here for the uh, torpedo. And it just helps out a little bit with their survivability when they're being attacked. So let's uh, hurry up and get into the game because that's what you're all here for. So guys, we are on New Dawn. Uh, so I'm going to go straight to the map. I'm going to put my cruiser onto full. Uh, I'm going to go behind this guy here. So I just want to use that to, for the time being, let's put it a little bit further away so I don't crash into it. And I'm just going to send all of my aircraft over here. Okay, and so we've got uh, no destroyers, which is good. Uh, the destroyers are a pain in the ass. Uh, they do go along and torpedo you if they get around sneakily uh, they don't get seen by any of these guys use the smoke so they don't get seen by the aircraft um, and while you're out here you don't notice when they smoke necessarily you might see a little patch on the screen but it's a little bit delayed at the moment or it is for me um, so what I'm aiming for is going for these uh, battleships there's three of them and I know they're going to be spread out quite evenly like they were with our team. So these two here were over there. So I'm going to guess there's going to be about two over here and maybe one here. Let's go for the single one. Get them out of the way and let these battleships push through along with the cruiser escort. Um, I'm going to go over here. And if you didn't realize, I'm pressing the shift button now. So I'm going to go to my main ship and press the shift button and it adds a destination. So you can do this quite a few times. I think it's about I think you can add about five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so five. So my torpedoes and my bombers are nearly over there. I'm going to send these guys, number fours, over this way. And as you see, I'm still using the main map. So the large map, I'm still using, uh, mainly because I get a good overview of what's going on. Let's get two. So the battleship seems to be going over that way. Let's get them over there. And I'm going to go behind. Let's do a bit of damage behind. Now this is where I like to zoom in. So this is where I use the main map. And I'm going to use the alt key, which gives us this little indicator. And I'm going to guess he's going to be around about there. Oh, that was a really bad guess. So let's go there. Oh, he's changed direction. Oh, he's going for it. And that was the worst hit I've ever seen in my life. So let's try that again. That didn't quite work out. But let's go again. My plane seems to go off in a weird fashion. So let's try that again. Let's guess he's uh, round about here. Let's go. And you can change it as you go. That seems to be good. We're going to dive on him now, get a good hit, set him alight. There we go. So we've got three hits out of six. Oh, this is not too bad. It's not my best. I'm sure you guys can do a lot better. Um, now he's uh, put it out. What I would do is obviously I should have hit them with the first one. All my planes going off on one. Um, they seem to do what they like. Uh, but let's just bring my torpedoes over. So he's healing himself already. So he's put out the fire and he's <laughs> healing. Which is... Uh, never seen that happen before. But maybe I've never given them a chance. 
I'm just going to slow him down as well by causing a bit of flooding. So I've already caused him to go on fire, which he has repaired, but I'm going to get these torpedo bombers to do some damage when they catch up. Now, if you're skilled, which I am not the majority of the time, as you've just witnessed, I could attack this guy and still hit another couple of ships, but what I'm going to do, he seems to be turning quite a lot, so he's going to face this way. And I'm going to just put these bombers there. And again, you can press and hold Alt again, just to aim it right. There we go, now it's gone yellow, I have no other choice. I'm literally going to get about three or four hits on this. That'll take him to about half health. Maybe even more, there we go, I've got five hits. Yeah, that was a fantastic hit. So that one might even hit this guy. So what I was talking about earlier may actually help. But he's uh, he seems to be on fire, or is it the flooding? The flooding seems to be causing him damage. And he's going to be gone soon with this extra damage there. And we took him out. That's all I did. Wound, and then you eventually get the kill. And look at this. Yes. There we go. We got that extra torpedo. And I didn't actually mean to do that, but we caused flooding. Um, which is fantastic. So let's get our uh, bombers over. Uh, I was just having a quick look at my mini map then, but I'm going to go to the main map. And now I'm going to I'm going to stay behind this. So I'm just going to move him there just to get my checkpoints out of the way. Just hide them behind this mountain here, so they can't see me. They most probably know we're around. Uh, so two's landing, threes are up. Uh, fours are nearly up. Um, and should we go for this guy, Beans? He's really close and he's a bit wounded. I'm just going to see the difference. So let's see the difference between doing it yourself and having that alt key and aiming and having the definite hits of this one. Um, I usually find that he doesn't do a lot of damage. But in that case, Beans is on low health. That was two good hits. But he hasn't set him on fire, but he will die. He's only on 25. Let's get the fours on him as well. There we go, he's gone. He knows he's gone. There's nothing he can do. Alright. So that's the pesky cruiser. Let's get uh, torpedoes up to take out this other cruiser here. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there was one that just popped up on the map. I'm going to put him in reverse a quick second. So uh, we stop there. Get this down to zero. There. Group two, airborne. So group two. Saw some fire come from over here. There's obviously some torpedoes. So that's come from somewhere. But he seems to be quite concealed. Is he behind this rock or has he gone over here? Let's have a look. And these guys are actually a sitting target. Let's uh Let's take out the sitting target, shall we? There we go. Let's do that. Get these guys on there when they're deployed. Let's see if we can do what we did a minute ago and try and get a double hit. So this one, I'm just sending them over this way. And that was an excellent. I'll tell you about that one in a second if you didn't realise. So I'm just going to press the uh, shift key and it will add a marker. But as well as that, I'm going to go and press alt. So perfect opportunity here to try and get as many ships as I can in one hit. So I'm just going to do that because I feel like he's going to go off to the right in a second. So I've just sent him off this way. We'll put him in the right direction. Um, and let's, uh, let's do a bit of this as well. But he might actually... He's going to ruin that, I reckon. Yeah, he's coming too close. So, if my torpedo bombers were a little bit faster, we might have a better shot at that. Let's just uh, get a few torpedoes on. Uh, and again, I think it's about five seconds at the arm, so that's about three, four, five. There we go, got some good hits on him. That one probably missed as well. But now we're just going to get number threes on him. Let's change the direction. We're going to do a bit of a fly around. Get on him, set him on fire. Number fours will come and do the same. So he's probably going to repair that. Let's give him a chance to think about it and watch these fires disappear if he hasn't already had to repair. But if he doesn't, I'll leave him to it because then he'll slowly lose health. So I'm going to get this guy. Awaiting instructions. But again, this is where you get the points, where you start wounding people. 
So let's get these. Get some hits on that, set them alight. We're only one hit, but that was from the uh, assisted aim. Now, my ship seems to be a long way away, so I'm just going to, because we got rid of those ships earlier, I'm going to put them over here. Let's start getting towards the uh, other carrier so I can get my, sh um, my planes off. This is where it. This is where the game gets very slow. You're waiting for all these aircraft to get back on board and go back out there to take some, uh, give some hits. So I'm just going to set them once they've landed. Set them to go back out there straight away so they don't waste time. So he's just landing now. don't seem to want to land. Don't know why that is, maybe it's because they're taking off. But right, so um, uh, another tip for you. So these uh, torpedo bombers are very good at taking out cruisers. Uh, they do a lot of damage to the battleship and they get a lot more hits, but sometimes if you get a good hit on a cruiser, you can take them out of the game straight away, right at the beginning. Um, and it's always, you always feel bad for the guy that's just loaded up uh, and died straight away. But, you know, it happens. So, we're predicting that he's going over here. Uh, number three, so let's uh, just get him on fire. A bit of damage. Actually, yeah, number two's over this way now. He's, uh, he's a bit screwed here. He's got two ships after him. They're half health, but he's not going to be much in a minute. Shift again and just uh, put it over this way. So, bombing. We've got a good hit on him. Set him alight times two. These torpedoes, he's moving quite slow. He's going to turn towards me, but he's dead. Uh, he's going to get about four hits on him now. Maybe three. It doesn't matter. And there we go. So, we've got one more ship. One more ship just over there. Send him back. There we go. Group two, returning. Number fours. Let's get you over there. So this is where we can get the points if uh, he's not taken out before we even get there. It's just to uh, set him alight, uh, get him on fire, um, and you get a few points for that anyway. Uh, but as he gradually goes down for being on fire. Um, you will get those points and the assist for the other guys as well but I think we're not going to get there and again this is what I mean earlier if you have your ship far away which mine is over here and the person that I want to attack is pretty much on the other side of the map it takes a long time to get your planes to and fro it does get a bit boring so I like to get my ship in there I don't worry about taking too much damage usually the destroyers in that uh, get me with torpedoes but one or two doesn't matter as long as you can try and avoid them and just stay behind cover uh, use all of this cover here and try and get up into the fight and your fighters and your bombers uh, they get into the fight much quicker um, and I think this guy is pretty much going to be down on the next couple of hits from people yeah okay so you can see here I've got about 430 points that's about average You'll be, um, uh, obviously, with your 1.5 multiplier, that'll be a little bit more. You're talking about um, five or 600, uh, which isn't bad, which isn't a bad score. I'm quite happy with that one. But this is where you get the points. So you're going to get the odd destroy, especially if you are the main one that destroys them and nobody else puts any damage on them. But this is where you get the main points. Causing flooding and setting on fire, they are the main ones. So try and do that as early as possible by using these bombers. Get them on fire, uh, let them repair, use your second bombers to put them on fire again and eventually they'll be beaten down because they've got to wait that minute or two to uh, before they can repair again. And then these torpedoes, these are what you use to take out the cruisers. The cruisers are fast, 
uh, but they're easier to hit with these. Try and predict where they're going to go, but if they're thinking about what they're doing, they're pretty much going to be able to avoid them if you just set it on the normal attack. But if you attack yourself by using that alt key, you will be able to hit them and destroy them straight away. Thanks for watching my video, you've just been watching me play some World of Warships on the PC. If you would like to see some more videos from myself, please subscribe and leave a like.